Hi, I'm Todd Alford with Sim Specialists. In this short video, I'll walk through investigating results in a data center. The main focus will be on the temperature of the air entering and exiting the server equipment. A simple portion of a data center will first be examined. The model has been reduced to two rows of servers with two computer room air conditioning units, crack units at the end. Starting by investigating the global temperatures on the inlet face of the servers, we can notice that the temperature is not uniform. This will cause the servers in the racks at the end of the row to fail prematurely. To further investigate this temperature rise near the end of the rows, we can add particle traces. The particle trace on the right recirculates back into the server after passing through and rising in temperature during each pass. Notice the second particle trace on the left doesn't enter the server right away, and the temperature is rising before it enters the server for its first pass. These recirculation zones will have an impact on the efficiency of the crack units, which in turn affects the operating cost to the end user. Even if higher temperatures didn't cause premature failure in the server equipment, the customer will be paying for the inefficiency in the design. A second design will be considered with hot aisle containment to force air directly back to the crack units after passing through the servers and going up into a suspended ceiling without any opportunity for recirculation. As expected, the flow is now directed through the servers and up into the ceiling. Further investigating the model, we see that the temperatures are significantly lower in the second design with the hot aisle containment. Further investigating the model, we can see that the temperatures are significantly lower in the second design with the hot aisle containment. Between these two designs, there is a 3 degrees Celsius difference in the average temperature exiting the servers, which equates to nearly 40 kilowatts that the crack unit must condition. The hot aisle containment increases the room's efficiency by 25%, in this case reducing the operating cost by over $40,000 per year. The ability for expansion in the future is also limited, as the new server equipment may have higher power that will be added into the room. The first design will reach critical temperatures much faster. I hope this helps with your design and results interrogation of data center models.